it might sound a bit over dramatic but we are possibly looking at the very beginning of mechanical engineering or at least the kinematics of mechanisms because this is where mechanical engineers and civil engineers part ways what we have here is a collection of rigid bodies by the way a rigid body is something that does not change its form or shape under the given operating forces so when you apply the forces the loads then its length its breadth its thickness diameter everything will remain constant so we have this collection of rigid bodies and we have connected them together with these kinds of joints so that they are capable of motion so let us see how they move so i'll start this tool and drag on this so this is the kind of motion that the joint allows so using these kind of rigid bodies and this kind of joints we have put together a set of three bodies here and a set of four bodies here let us see what happens next so we will use the same tool and drag on one of these bodies and everything else connected to it moves with it so here this particular set of four bodies connected together is capable of allowing motion but if we try to do that over here none of these bodies move so this set of bodies have formed something immovable called a structure while here we have got something that is capable of motion called mechanism so this is something used or useful to civil engineers while this can be used for building machines perhaps now is a good time to introduce some formal terminology uh, the bodies that we connected together okay over here we have four of them are called links and the joints that we use for connecting them together are called kinematic pairs or pairs for short so a mechanism is made up of links and pairs now most of the time in this course we'll be using links that are rigid but a link could be flexible too like a chain or a belt to summarize we will define a mechanism here is a mechanism used in rotary engines and this is how it moves so what it is essentially doing is taking the force exerted by the hot gases on these pistons and it is transmitting it and modifying it to the torque available at the shaft so a mechanism can transmit and modify a force there is one more way of looking at it though that instead of forces we can think in terms of motion so the motion of this piston is ultimately transferred to the motion of this shaft or the reciprocating the back and forth motion of this piston is modified to the rotary motion of the shaft by putting it all together we can say a mechanism is a set of links connected with kinematic pairs that helps us to transmit or modify motion and forces